Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with my pretty much effortless glam like tutorial. This is really easy to do. It's really pretty much some bronzer on the eyes, little inner corner highlight, of course the wing liner, that's optional, and a beautiful bold red lip or whatever lip color you want. Um, I get asked all the time just to do like a red lipstick eye winged eyeliner look. I don't know why. But I figured this is a pretty classic look, so why not make another video of it? I think this is like maybe my second, third video. I don't know. This is a whole lengthy tutorial, foundation included. So if you guys want to see how I got this simplistic, beautiful, classic look, then keep on watching. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start off by using a primer. This is the Danessa Myricks Prism FX Hydrating Lotion. Um, I really do love this. Um, I love using this on matte with matte foundations um, and this is quite a bit I should have just used a pump wow I look like an alien anyway I never use two pumps I don't know why I went in for two pumps I only use one pump and I guess I'm just my skin is wow I'll fix it guys we'll fix it we already starting off like while I let that sit into the skin I'm actually going to start parting my hair um, and kind of getting it set up for the wig that I'm going to be wearing. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. And I'm actually in the shade 190. When I did my review, I had picked up the shade 220. And I was looking like Danilda Trump. And I was not liking it. Um, I, I really noticed that the next day when I decided to wear it alone to see if it does darken to its truest shade. Because I feel like I didn't let it really set into my skin after I applied it and then I applied all this light foundation um, concealer so I felt like it kind of tweaked it which was fine it was workable but I didn't like the way it sat on my skin in that uh that little beigey orange shade so but for the record that foundation said it was a warm peach and that's exactly what I got so this one is actually um I forgot I think this is a cool Cool neutral or I don't remember what 190 is but this is the shade 190 so I really shook up the foundation I do it every single time I use the foundation sometimes I forget and I use like a pump and a half I know some people are still like on the fence about this foundation but you know what I mean it it it, it kind of it didn't break the internet per se but uh people are talking so she did something right, right? I'm gonna go ahead and press this onto my skin. It's a be it's actually a really beautiful foundation, but I have dry skin, so I have to tread lightly. Now, if Riri decides to come out with a glowing foundation, girl, I'm gonna be on in like white on rice. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte CC cream corrector. Um, this one's in the shade light medium. This is the original packaging. I know they changed the packaging a little bit. Um, personally, I mean, I don't know as long as they don't change the product. It's very, very creamy. I'm going to go in with my finger and press it onto my, my bag area right here. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. Um, this one's in the shade 01 which to be honest is the lightest shade and to be honest this is almost exactly the same shade as my Urban Decay light neutral shade which is like the third or fourth darkest shade in Urban Decay line so it's annoying I'm gonna go in and this is a really wet formula so what I do is I actually let it sit into my skin now I watched Jaclyn Hill, which I do adore. I'm not like standing for her like some people do, but I do like her. I enjoy watching her. And I saw that she had used this. Um, I don't know if she was just trying out new products and it literally started burning her. So I say tread lightly with this. I do feel probably not the best choice of. Sorry, you guys. I can go do my hair I can go make breakfast I can go do something and I let this sit in the skin because it is that wet it is that wet of a formula I actually have to tap into it like kind of shake it up to mix the products in 
but this is a very watery concealer actually going to add a little bit of the ColourPop light neutral shade just right here you see that it just it's just gonna it should brighten just enough and this concealer is actually pretty awesome I've been using it every day this week so now I'm gonna go in with my Cody Airspun per usual and just press some under the eyes there. I'm gonna set my face using the Maybelline Better Skin, Superstay Better Skin Powder, and this one's in the shade 25, Nude Beige. I'm gonna take my Royal and Land Nickel brush. This one is the Moda M04 brush, and I'm gonna just go ahead and set my face. Bronze the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and use my, none other than my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. I'm gonna go in with my favorite brush ever and it's my Sigma F25 brush. I'm actually gonna go in with, gee are we shocked. I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade here. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and I'm gonna hit up all three shades like that. Tap off one tiny bit and I'm actually just gonna take this on my crease. My outer V and my crease. This is just a look that I do all the time. It's very effortless, minimal. I am doing a wing liner today. Shocker, I know. My Smith 220 brush, which is my favorite. I'm going to take the darkest shade. And I'm just going to press this under my lash line like so. I'm going to use a blush. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow blush. And this one is in Hustle and Glow. Now I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to press this into the Beauty Blender like this. You get product. And I'm going to press this onto my cheeks. Now this is a pretty soft cream so it kind of goes into like a powder. So blending it with a, even though I've set my foundation, I use it with my damp Beauty Blender. Of course it's not soaking wet, it's kind of almost on the dry side and then just press this onto my cheeks. Look so. I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna be using the Absolute New York Eyebrow Pencil. I'm using it the wrong way. So I just brush in my brows. I'm gonna finish off my brows and I'll come back to you guys. I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome 100 Molten Golden Metallic Highlighter. This is actually really beautiful. If you are fair skin, it's kind of not the best highlighter for you. But anyway, I'm gonna highlight my inner corner using my all-time favorite Morphe E36 brush. I don't know if Sigma has a brush similar to this. It is like perfect. So I'm like pretty much just being very generous with it. And then of course, did you guys guess anything different? I'm gonna wet the brush and I'm gonna go in the inner corner of the eye this is like the best way to get an effortless look so I'm gonna take my Inglot number 77 liner and I'm gonna take my favorite brush this is the Royal and Land Nickel 20 over 0 art brush and it is like the teensiest tiniest bit I love it normally I do Wow. Normally I do my tape trick. I've already I've already applied all of my uh, foundation crap. So and with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and I'm gonna go in and do my lashes. I usually just start going in like this, and then push up. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face using the Master Chrome again and I'm going to go in with this AOA Studio F19 brush and I freaking love this brush for hi hi for highlighting um not wet at all just spritz my face to make it better and we fan the face
But I'm gonna use the liquid cat suit in the shade Missy and Fierce. But first I'm gonna line my lips using my uh, Jordana Easy Liner, best liners ever in Sedona Red. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line my lips just in case it bleeds. I don't normally have that problem, but I like to line my lips. So there you have it my loves this is the completed look i'll have everything linked down below that i used in the video along with this unit right here that i did a review on the review will be linked right here so you guys can check that out if you're interested um yeah this is pretty much it for the look it's effortless it's classic you can't go wrong with it this is the look that i normally go for on an everyday basis minus the wing liner and i'll either opt for a darker lip or just a nude most of the time it's like a nudie grayish lip or whatever but yeah i mean i get requests about a classic red lip look all the time so I decided why not I think I've already done like one or two of these videos in my you know five plus years on YouTube but they're probably old and just not that cute um so yeah I mean I'm in love with this highlighter right here by the way it's just like it looks so good on the light and in natural lighting so anyway um I'm absolutely loving this wet and wild liquid cat suit in the shade Missy and fear so I always recommend get it it get 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 it get it get it if you want another red lip um color pop creeper is a perfect cool tone red this is a more pinky toned red pinky blue toned red but it's still cool toned and the um creeper shade from color pop is more blue based so anyway guys I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always I will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye